Well, September's coming, so here I've got everything I need to go back to school in my trusty old backpack here. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, iPod, so that I can effectively tune out my lessons. DS, for when iPod is not quite strong enough. And then, when I actually need to get down to work, I got my notebook. Of course, I don't have a real notebook because that wouldn't be nearly technophile enough. I have an ASUS Triple E 1000. So, like I said, we've got the Triple E 1000 here today, and we're going to compare it a little bit to its little sibling, the 901. Basically, they both have the Intel Atom processor, and they both got wireless N because these notebooks are too small for an optical drive. However, it does have a couple huge advantages over the 901. It has a 10-inch screen, which is a lot brighter. It has a much larger keyboard, and it also has 80 gigs of storage space compared to only 12 gigs in the Triple E 901. So the Triple E 1000 is quite a bit larger than the 901, which, and one of our complaints about the 901 was that it is a little bit small. The extra screen size means it's a little bit taller, it's a little bit wider, but the thickness is actually very similar. You've got the same battery bulge here, but overall it's a very thin little machine and very nice looking in person. So I've got a couple pens on the keyboards here so you can get an idea of the scale, the relative size. The Triple E 901 has a good size keyboard for children and ladies, of course, and the 1000 has a much better size keyboard if you have bigger hands or you're a man or whatever else. Now, the keyboard was very comfortable for me with my kind of fat fingers. The left shift was very easy to reach and the enter was in a great place. It is an English layout, however, the right shift is a little bit far away. I'm willing to forgive it for how easy this keyboard was to type on. So for our startup time comparison today, we have two basically identical machines. They're both running Intel Atom, they're both manufactured by ASUS, one gig of system memory. Now they've got the same diagnostics to run when they start up, feature set is nearly identical. Here's the difference. The 901 has a solid state hard drive, which means faster access to small amounts of data and overall less storage capacity. Whereas the 1000 has a magnetic hard drive, which means slower access to data, but more at a time. And also it's got 80 gigs of storage compared to only 12 gigs. Now, they're both booted up. Hopefully you were able to see which one was done first. Now we've actually gotten a lot of questions about whether the Atom and the sub notebook platform in general is suitable for playing back video. Now, I just wanted to show, yes it is. However, on something like the 901, you can see the screen is quite a bit darker than the 1000. So for playing back video, we're playing just your average Joe Divix file here. I'm gonna give the thumbs up to the 1000 for giving much better image quality. So really at the end of the day, we've got two very similar machines from ASUS. It's gonna come down to usage model. The 901 is a little bit smaller, so if Portability is the most important thing for you, and if you have small hands like a kid, or like a lady of course, the 901 is a great choice. However, if you do need a little bit more room, for example on the keyboard and on the screen, we found the 1000 functions more like a small notebook as opposed to like a triple E PC, and it really felt like a really good compromise, really. Thank you for watching NCIX Tech Tips, really.